Hey guys, Mike from CCTV Camera Pros here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate our Viewtron license plate recognition cameras with third-party access control systems using Wigand. So uh, Wigand is a protocol that uses three wires, two for data and one for ground. And it, it communicates basically a, a facility ID and a card ID uh, be, be, between the client and the server. So, so the, usually it's keypads, but in this case, we're using the Vutron LPR camera. And the reason why I'm doing this and the reason why this whole thing came up was uh, we have a, a, a customer here in Palm Beach County that contacted us. Uh, it's, a, it's a gated HOA community, and they currently use barcodes for the gate access to their community. And they want to augment, augment that system and use license plates. So detect license plates coming in and have that, the license plate camera communicate with their the existing access control system to determine if that plate has access or not. Their existing access control system supports the WeGAN protocol as almost all access control systems do. So this is, this is very generic. This makes it so that the Viewtron LPR camera can integrate with any uh, any access control system that supports 26-bit WeGAN, which is the most common. So uh, this is how it works. Basically, this uh, the, the WeGAN output port on the LPR camera is connected to two of the digital input terminals on the Arduino, and then the ground is also connected. And then I have these two uh, relay switches connected to a, a, a other output ports on the Vutron, uh, on the Arduino board. And basically, when the LPR camera communicates the card ID associated with that license plate, and I'm going to show you how that's set up in the software, it's very easy. It, 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 it's, it, it identifies the plate, the plate is associated with a WeGAND card ID from the access control system. It sends that ID to the Arduino, the Arduino is acting as my uh, access control system in this case. It checks the database, which is just an array I made in the Arduino sketch, to see if that card ID is contained in that array. If it is, the blue light comes on, which means access granted. And if it's not, it, the, then the orange light comes on, which means access uh, denied. Let's log into my laptop so I can show you the interface for the Vutron LPR camera and we'll, we'll walk through a, a full demo now. Okay, so I'm logged into the LPR camera right now. This is, this is the live view through the web browser. And, and the resolution is scaled way down, by the way, when I'm viewing on a web browser on a Mac. But, so I'm gonna go into config and then select a license plate database. And then I already have the, the, area, the detection area and the sizes set up. I, I already did that. What I really wanna show you is, Here's the vehicle database. And right now I don't have any entries in it. So no one is authorized. There's no authorized plates. So I'm first gonna show you what access is denied. So if I go back to live view and I'm gonna take my license plate and put it in the detection zone and the plate was detected, but you could see that the orange light is flashing, which means that that user is not authorized because there was no card ID associated with that plate. So now if I go back into config and I'm going to add a plate. So license plate number is I, B, three, six, and L. And I'm going to associate, um, so we have, there are some required fields here. So phone numbers required, uh, one, four, three, three, eight, four, eight, eight. And then parking card number, that, that's the ID of the, WeGAND card ID, and we're not going to use the facility code. And the first three characters are the facility code. So I'm going to fill those in with zeros, and then I'm going to make the card ID 12345. And I'm going to save that, and you can see it's added right here, and it's added to the allow list. Now, I already have in my Arduino sketch that that card ID 12345 is authorized. So if I go back to the live view now, and take my license plate and again run it through the detection zone, you can see that, that, that the card ID associated with this plate was authorized, so the blue light uh, lights up, which again can signify a gate opening. I'll do it one more time. 
detected. It sended the YGAN card to the Arduino. The Arduino matched it to the card ID in the authorized list database, and the user was granted access. Guys, I hope this video has been helpful. I just want to make it crystal clear why this came up and, and why it's so valuable for uh, uh, access control integration. So uh, in a past video, I showed you how just using a Vutron license plate recognition camera and a Vutron NVR, that you can create an authorized list of plates in the database on the Vutron system that when a plate is recognized, if it's in the authorized list, it can trigger the uh, a relay output port on the NVR and that output port can be connected to a gate. So that's useful if you want to use this system by itself. But more times than not, uh, homeowners association and communities and commercial properties already have some type of access control system and, and they may just want to add an LPR camera to control a gate but have their existing centralized uh, access control system kind, kind of be the, 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 the main brain for the system and the thing that determines the access. So uh, that's what this enables. You can associate a license plate with a, with a card ID for an access control system. And as long as that access control system supports WeGand, you can, you can detect plates and send that card ID to the central access control system and then the access control system can do with it whatever they want. If they want to open up a gate, they can. If they just want to log that that user came in through the gate, whatever. Whatever you want to do with it, that's what the integration is for. More times than not, this is going to be used for gated access control, though. That's, that's where I see it being extremely useful, obviously, with license plates. Anyways, if you have any questions on any of this, uh, feel free to reach out to me anytime. I can be reached at mike at vutron.com. I'm going to upload this program that I wrote to uh, GitHub in case anyone wants to tinker with this. But this was really just a proof of concept showing you how generic this is and that it can be integrated with, with anything. Uh, most of the people that are watching this are probably interested in integrating this with, a, with an access control system that's already developed, not developing one on your own. But anyways, I'll upload it so you can see that if that's useful for you. Uh, if you want to learn more about our Vutron LPR cameras, uh, I have a whole bunch of demo videos that I've made over the years. You can see them all at www.vutron.com slash LPR. Thank you for watching.